of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, everyone, please remain standing. And we want to ask Reverend Wimps to come here for prayer, please. Let us pray. Father God, we come no other way but from heart to heart and leaning on your everlasting love. Father, we just thank you for this meeting. Thank you that we can bind ourselves together and reason together. As we move this city forward, Father, touch each and every leader in this community. Give them the made-up mind determination to follow your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Amen. 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 Roll call. Mayor Nolan. Present. Councilwoman Wiley. Present. Councilman Oden. Present. Councilwoman Mitchell is absent today. Councilwoman Howard. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Williams. Present. And Councilman Chisholm. Present. We have six present and we do have a quorum. Okay. Have we had a chance to look at the agenda? Anything we need to add to take off? Where are we at? Added item E. We added item E, safe for grant acceptance. It's item E. And we also added under presentation uh, item B, beautification committee. Okay. Do we have a motion to approve the agenda? Support. Mm -hmm. Been properly moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It passes. Mary McClendon, do we have anything from Commissioner Anderson? Mm. What did you say? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say Anderson? Glenn Anderson, yeah. He's the commissioner. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Mary McClendon from the Office of Wayne County Commissioner Glenn Anderson, and it's always a pleasure to be here in the fine city of Inkster. And I just want to just update you that uh, I think you know by now there's an agreement uh, for the jail uh, with the county executive and uh, um, Mr. Dan Gl Gilbert, but that contract has to go to the commission. It has gone to the legal department of the commission and is being viewed. And of course, there's several contracts uh, pertaining to that particular jail project. And with that, that's a lot of review. Once that review has been done with the legal department, it will be submitted to the commissioners themselves, and they will, too, take a look at those contracts. As those contracts develop, they will be keeping you informed so that you will know exactly what will happen what might not happen, what you will like, what you might not like. But, th but you can rest assured that Commissioner Anderson will make sure that you will get the best benefits for the citizens of Wayne County, and he will be sure to let you know. There's been some uh, confusion um, with the residents in the area, in the uh, Gratiot area, um, not the Gratiot, but the Warren um, area, and they are complaining about a jail being in their neighborhood. So there will be some special conferences with those individuals in those neighborhoods, and we certainly will see what will happen uh, with that. Uh, as a reminder, we have the coffee hours. It's the second Monday of every month. And of course, we know an Inkster is at 12 noon. And uh, 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 you're all invited, all of you are invited uh, to come to the coffee hours. Uh, if you have any information that you'd like to share, you're more than welcome to come. If you'd like to uh, come to get information, you're welcome to come and do that as well. That's all I have at this time, and it's a pleasure. I'm not going to hold you because I know that game is coming on. Today. <laughs> <laughs> you got that look in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> I have more to say, but I know how to go sit down. I've been, <laughs> I've been reading body language for a while. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. State Representative Joel Jones. Good evening, Mayor, Council, Good Citizens, evening. Administration. Uh, just a, a couple uh, updates. I know we have a have an ice cream social next Monday um, in Garden City at the Maplewood uh, Community Center. Similar to a coffee hour, which is going to be later in the day from 5 to 6 p.m. That's Monday, April 9th. Um, the address for, for Maplewood Center um, is 31735 Maplewood Street, Garden City. Um, and then also uh, next Wednesday, 
um, from 6 to 8 p.m. at the at the Red Complex out here in Inkster. We're having uh, the campaign kickoff and my birthday celebration. I'm turning 23, so I'm getting a little older. Uh, so Season. excited about that. <laughs> Season. All right. Uh, and so looking forward to having you all out there. Um, we're going to have uh, like some, I guess it's not necessarily finger foods, but it's going to be my favorite foods. We're going to have some candy yams, mac and cheese, and like some boneless chicken. Um, so keeping it simple, but, um, you know, sharing a piece of me with you all. Uh, all right. But that's it uh, for me, so thank you. All right, thank you. We already proved the agenda. Presentation. <laughs> right, he's the wrong person. Right. Amnesty Program, Judge Sabrina Johnson, Chief Judge, 22nd District Court. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be here. Mayor, Council, <laughs> Department Heads, thank you for having me here. I'm excited to be here because I am here to talk about our traffic ticket and warrant amnesty. 2018, let's get clean in 2018 and clear up those old bench warrants. There are approximately 8,000 open bench warrants at the 22nd District Court, representing 8,000 arrests that could be uh, put upon you at any time or any place, on your job, at the store, while riding as a passenger with someone else who doesn't have a valid license. You can be questioned. And so I have, for the, over the last five years, seen person after person come in and say, I was just a passenger, and I was going to take the car home, but they had a bench warrant. So, and I have seen folks walking around in this community who I know who have active bench warrants. Huh. Maybe they didn't show up for jury duty. Maybe they didn't pay off that old ticket. So for no questions asked during the month of April, we're inviting you to come to the 22nd District Court and find out what your fines and costs are. We're going to erase your late fees, default fees, and take that traffic ticket back to if you had paid it timely in 2008. <coughs> so it's a great opportunity. If you have a misdemeanor, if you missed your probation hearing or violation hearing, you're going to post a small cash bond of $150, and we're going to give you a, a date to return. You walk in, you walk out. So this is really an, a program to encourage people not to be afraid to come to court because the number one reason why folks don't come is because they think that they don't have the money and they're going to get locked up. I have never locked up anyone for that. We'll work with you, but you got to come to court. I have locked people up for that, for failing to appear. So that's, that is, you know, disobeying a court order, and we don't want to do that. So we want to invite you, really this is an invitation to all the citizens of Inkster to please stop by and see us during business hours. For this month only, we're extending our hours on Tuesday, every Tuesday <coughs> evening until 6.30 p.m. So go to work and come by and talk with us. We are ready to receive you. We're ready to put you back on track. You no longer have to drive around looking over your shoulder afraid that you'll be stopped. I've had many people say, I was so nervous, I started driving even worse because I know I have a bench warrant and I saw that cop behind you. So nothing worse than driving in fear and get that monkey off your back and come on in and see us, I beg of you. I have these hot off the presses posters. I'd like to share them with you so that you can share them with your uh, constituents and get the word out. The worst thing for me to hear at the end is, I didn't know anything about that. I would have come in. I don't want that to be an issue anymore. Uh, you can reach out to us anytime. Please appear in person. We get folks who are still afraid and call incessantly. Come and handle your business. You walk in, you will walk out. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we have the Beautification Committee, uh, Tony Bailey. Good evening, Mayor, Council, Treasurer, City Clerk, Department <laughs> Heads, the audience and those viewing. I'm before you. We all know what time it is. <laughs> we know what time it is. <laughs> Clean up time. We're having our kickoff, which will be April 28th. We'll meet up here up at the rec center, the Book of Dozier, at 9 a.m. 
What we have is something new this year. We want to have the young people involved. We know the young people need to get community service credit. So on the days of the cleanup, we will be handing out after they clean up, they'll come back up to the rec center. We will be handing out uh, community service uh, certificates that they can get on the day that they clean up. We'll, we'll, the ones who will be signing it, myself, the judge, and mayor, we want you to have your signature on the certificate as well. Uh, Gabe had passed out flyers to all the different ones, so you see the different dates of when we have in the uh, cleanup. And we like for the community to be involved as well. It's just picking up the litter around the city. We want to keep Inkster beautiful. We have different ones saying different stuff about the city, but what are you doing about it? I mean, everybody has to do their part. So this is the opportunity. We have the dumpsters out available for those who cleaning um, their homes, their yard. You want to throw out a couch, a chair, or whatever. Uh, we have uh, four locations for the dumpsters. They're at the different parks. We have one up at Book of Dozier. Westwood Park, Wheatley Park, and Lamont Park. Those will be available uh, for different ones to throw out anything as well. So i like to see everybody involved, even the council. I want the council, I would like for you guys to be involved. So since if we have the children involved, and I've been telling a lot of different people who have kids or different ones say they're going to let people know at their high school, you know, anyone. It's not just Inkster children for anybody that needs to get a community service credit um, for the council people in your district for you to just, you know, go around and see what areas that you need to have clean. And that way when the different ones come up to the rec center on the cleanup day, we can be able to send them to the different areas where they can clean. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Consent agenda? No move. <laughs> support. All right, some probably move and support and discuss it. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. It passes. Boards and commissions? Any nominations? No. Okay. All right, we move on to new business. Consideration of an offer to purchase one residential vacant parcel located on the west side of Allen Ave between Anover Street and Pine Street, as duly noted, in the amount of $250. What? Been properly moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Passes. Abstain. Abstain. Okay. It passes. Consideration and approval to register to apply for grant funds to be awarded to the ASPCA to assist with expenses related to animal control activities, including but not limited to building repair preparation, training, supplies such as leads, cages, etc., vehicle related expenses. A move? Or been properly moved and supported. Discussion? That it's registered. To register so we can apply for it. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want people calling me saying, I hear we're getting the animal control. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Passes. Consideration and approval of a street closure for street closures of Carlisle between Irene and Isabel and Spring Hill Streets on June 16, 2018 for a community extravaganza from 12 to 4 p.m. in Inkster Spring Hill Missionary Baptist Church is the applicant. What? we probably move to support it. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Passes. Consideration, I'm sorry, excuse me, consider authorizing the Department of Public Services to approve a contract in the amount of $348,788 for ADJ excavating for reconstruction of Arcola Street between Somerset and Cherry Hill in the city of Inkster 
Additionally, requesting authorization to approve an amended contract for Alfred Benish and Company to provide construction engineering, full-time construction inspection, and material testing for this project on a time and material basis not to exceed $100,000. We probably moved and supported discussion. Uh, is there any way that this can go back and the second half separate part for motions? Because I'm uncomfortable with that. And I was in orientation. Um, in between the meetings, we did have a discuss. We called Jerome Bivens. He believes that the, con the inspection services are in the Banish contract. I was had a chance to look at it because we didn't have much of a break. Um, so if I was to have to vote on this tonight, I would not. Yeah. I'd rather we table it and take a look at it. Um, if if our contract with them means they have to do the inspection, then it's just a matter of putting a number on it, we're capping it. Because that means we've already contracted with them and they have to do the work. If they're our exclusive engineering uh, services provider. If not, then I think we may have to do something different, like what we discussed earlier. Um, because I don't like the fact that we didn't receive any other bids, or it was not bidded out, I guess I would say. I would draw my support. So I have to. Yeah. 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 Just yeah make a motion, motion to, to resign. Okay, I, I'll make a, I would like to rescind my previous motion, and I'd like to table it. Next meeting. House support. Okay, it's been moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. It passes. We're going to send that contract out to everybody, too, so everybody can take a look at it. The table passes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Item E, to accept a safer grant in the amount of 701150 for a three-year grant cycle. So move, Mr. Chair. Board. We'll probably move to support it. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Passes. <clears throat> Okay. What is that? How you pronounce it? Is that Laney or? Dan Laney. Or is that Don? Don, Don, Don Laney? Okay. How you doing, everybody? Good evening. Good evening. I'm from down there on Harrison, 3575 to be exact. Mm -hmm. I want to come in. Uh, my council person, I think that light, my street light, got a couple of items and that's all. Okay. Uh, my street light was off last year for about a couple of months, called you, and uh, it was off three more months, and I finally called Edison. I got it on in about a couple of days, so. Other thing was, the city towed a couple of my trailers from down there on Harrison for no reason at all. It was trailers, uh, for information, those trailers were imp the contents of was about five hundred thousand dollars of material in that trailer. Now I can't get any kind of uh, information on the trailers. All I get uh, from the police department is a bunch of lies. And uh, uh, I wanted to go. I want some satisfaction. I got the materials in that trailer to do my roof, all that, all along with they tore up my fence, uh, pulling those trailers. Okay. Where were they located at? 3575 Harrison. On the street, in the yard, the backyard? And on property, on my property. Okay. Was it in the driveway? No, I was sitting on the property. On the grass? Right. Okay. On the grass. Okay. I'll follow up. We have and I'll, I'll follow up with them. Okay, well, I guess this doesn't make any difference. I thought the chief was, might be here. I wanted to con, con, uh, say my, <laughs> I, didn't, I, wasn't appre I didn't appreciate the way the police come when they come down there two times that, well, I got so many incident reports that uh, I just don't even call them anymore. Last time I came, well, time before last, I called the police. I wound up in jail for three days. And uh, and the, after that, my big truck, 18 wheeler, 80,000 pounds. We had a fight between my family, and uh, well, not my ex family, <laughs> and uh, uh, that truck was weighing about 80,000 pounds. The Caucasian 
police told me, if you're going to hear what he said, I told him, you know, I can't see you. Is that your truck over there? Yeah, that's my truck. Get it and get out of here. I said, look, I live here. My address is here. <laughs> he said, get in it, get the F on down the road, or I'm going to call Harrison, and we're going to tow it. That wasn't necessary. You need to do something about the police and getting them uh, uh, experience with talking to people that's citizens. You don't talk to people like that. I agree. All right. we'll, definitely, we'll definitely follow up on both those two items, and we will contact you. Thank you. Thank you. Open on. Good evening, Mayor, Councilman, and citizen. This is the last call for <laughs> tickets for the luncheon, the scholarship luncheon. It's going to be this Saturday, uh, April 7th at 11.30, and it's going to be at Wayne Tree Manor right down on Van Boyne and Wayne Road. So you'll know where it's going to be. The tickets are $40. We're going to have a good time. The keynote speaker <laughs> is Dr. Shelley Hope from Wayne Westland Community Schools, and we're going to have uh, souvenirs and gift cards available. You may be able to win a gift card, a nice amount of money. Mm -hmm. So please come and join us. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Oh, Officer Lebo. <coughs> Oh, she stepped out? Okay, we'll skip her for a second. Tom Pauling. Good evening, Mayor Good evening. and Councilman. Um, I just want to express my, um, uh, what a great experience we had with the first Citizens uh, Police Academy. And uh, it's a way to bridge the gap between the community and the police and the we learned a lot we actually learned a lot in that uh, class we learned about what the police officers do on a day to day on a day on a daily and they put up what a, they have a lot of stresses that we as ordinary citizens don't realize that they have and I have two of my classmates my wife is back there Jessica and Gina over there from HR <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to say what a great thing it was and I think we should do it again and this time I think I put on my suggestion paper for the next time maybe try it with the youth and have the you know the young the teenagers maybe 12 to 18 experience that because we did a ride along mm -hmm. my ride along I was with off officer Vargos and mine was boring, which that's a good thing when your ride along is boring. Right. And for the most part, I think most of our classmates have boring ride along. <laughs> so that's a good thing. That means there's nothing bad going on in the city. Right. So that's a positive thing. Mm -hmm. uh, just want to say keep up the good work. Right. Keep everything, whenever you can get the community involved, that's very, very important. Okay. All right, thank All right, you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Officer Lebo. <coughs> good evening, everybody. Mayor, good Council, good evening. Good evening. Um, everyone watching. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter. I want to start off with saying that I want to thank everyone for their participation and involvement with the Easter egg hunt that happened on Saturday. It was a great success. I know we had a lot of fun, and it looks like the kids had a lot of fun. So all of those volunteers that came out, thank you. All of the community partnerships that made it happen, thank you, thank you. And all the citizens who made it great. We appreciate everything that you do for us. On a second note, Coffee with a Cop next Tuesday. It is from 10 a.m. at Applewood Coney Island, located at 28640 Michigan Avenue. And that is, we're going to have it every month. It's always going to be the second Tuesday of the month, but this one, April 10th, next Tuesday, 10 a.m. Thank you. Thank you. Gabe Henderson. Good evening, family. Good evening. First, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the city and Rick. Uh, 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 parks and Rex, uh, uh, park, Parkwood Park is re being redeveloped. We're getting the equipment, new, nice equipment, all that. Kids, you know, so you build a park and the kids will come. Mm -hmm. The kids have been waiting, they've been <laughs> and so they're coming. And I want to, you know, want to, I want to thank, uh, you know, what I say, sometimes your prayers are answered and all that, and say, 
be, you know, be careful what you wish for. I wish for, you know, uh, my wife has been very, very sick, and I wish I could, you know, take some of the sickness away. Good, good, uh, good Friday. I got sick as a dog. <laughs> all day Saturday, and I was supposed to work with the kids, you know, at the, uh, you know, East Egg. All day Saturday, I couldn't, you know. So, and she got better, <laughs> especially with the prayers of, you know, Reverend George and Reverend Cooper and all that. She got better and all that. But I was uh, sick, of, sick of the two dogs Friday to Saturday. Easter Sunday, I got okay. You got okay. I got okay. I want to thank you for all your prayers, you know. And, uh, I'm back in the swing, anything I can help with the community and all that, and, uh, and thanks for everything. I just, you know, I want to give thanks, you know, for, you know, all y'all prayers mainly. And uh, that's all I have to say. Okay. 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 Barbara Cooper. Thank you, sir. Well, How you doing? Good evening, council and mayor. Good evening. I am Good evening. here representing the Angster Good Fellows, and on Friday, April the twentieth, we will be having a fish fry and spaghetti dinner, starting at eleven a.m. to three p.m at the Dozier Recreational Complex. And uh, I will have tickets tomorrow. And everybody else in the Goodfellas will have their tickets tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll be coming around to get our donations. We appreciate everything that you do for the Inks to Goodfellas. Thank you. All right, thank you. Mr. Willie Johnson. Say it louder. Mr. Willie Johnson. Good evening, Mr. Good Mayor, evening. member of City Council. Good evening. Good evening. I'm here tonight because we need some help on my street. I've turned it in time and time again. All last year, they sent one man out there one time to pass the street. One man on the truck. The next time, they sent a crew. I guess those are workers you hired during the summer. They have done it. The road is in terrible condition, terrible, mm -hmm. bad, messing my front end up. Okay? And so we need some help over there. <coughs> now, you folks got the job here. You got to be reliable. Now, the United States, if you can't pre trust the President of the United States, you can't hardly trust anybody anymore. It's time for our people to change. Now, when I say our people, I'm talking about the people of color. We need some good leaders. Maybe I, at 90 some years old, maybe I need to come back and be some kind of leader because we don't hardly have anybody you listen to anymore. Okay, police. Now, we need our, I keep telling you, we need our own police department. You won't do it. They're developing everywhere else. I'm tired of looking at it. I was in this city since 1946 when I got discharged from serving United States Navy. And I've dealt with presidents, you know that. Okay, many senators and congressmen. I was even at the governor's house twice. That's just a little bit about who I am. Okay, now we gotta do better. Now, the people have voted for you folks to have a strong mayor here in the city, and you got a strong mayor, Sari, big Sari, and other people got Saris too. You've gotten rid of some good people, good people that you could trust, and they will do the job, access to do the job. Now, we got to get someone on board. Now, next thing, you're going to be asking for more money, taxes. You don't jump up and down and shout and sing on the doing all kinds of parties now, it's time to go away. Everybody needs to contribute. You look in Durban, you see what's going on in Durban? Look in Detroit, it was a ghost town, dying. You look at it now, 
Detroit is doing fine. They're really building up down there. If you haven't been down there, it's really building up everything. And what are we doing? Okay. I sit down. I know she always calling me to sit down. Yeah, Mr. But Johnson, I your time is up. I'm a busy schedule. And I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Not seeing the city. Somebody say the city is developing. It's so little. You need to go to not only Lansing, but you need to send somebody to some of these conferences. It costs money. Some of these people need to go to conf conferences and bring back some new ideas because we are dying of slow deaths. Something else, the police department, they only patrol the main street. Now, on my street, I saw two police cars come through all year, and one took off his had probably had a call, passed by my house about 30, 40 miles an hour. We need more police here in the city. The people are getting out of hand, some of the people. Because people are coming in. Mr. We're getting Johnson. up there with murder. I know it's every time we turn around, we're having murders. Mr. Johnson. Now, I know what I'm talking about. If you don't call me and question me. For the benefit of people, now, I was behind the badge since 19, 1950, when I was ambulance driver. <coughs> they gave me a badge. I still got the ID card. I was a deputy sheriff from Illinois. I wasn't always like this. I went from a guard to a deputy sheriff. Sheriff deputized me on the job. Came out. My boss liked me. For the state, I was assistant chief, fire and safety officer. That's what I was when I retired from the state. Okay, I just want you to know who I am. Okay, thank you very much. Let's go to work. Stop bouncing up and down. Big, having big parties and everything, keeping the people happy. Those people keep them happy and coming from somewhere else, they ain't paying no taxes. You need some taxes coming to the city. And nobody gonna come in as long as you got a, the crime situation. One more thing too. Now, they're writing too many ticks again in Inkster. I know they're gonna jump on my back, they shouldn't. If you hollering for people to shop at the shopping center. Mr. Johnson. People are afraid to stop. They go right through. We, we, Those we, people need we, some, some more business. You said you we need more police officers, pardon? then you said we're writing too many tickets. I can't hear you. You said we need more police officers, then you said we're writing too many tickets. Well, <laughs> you need more police officers. Now, the state police and Wayne County Sheriff, they mostly patrol through the main streets. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to tell you, I had an emergency come up about two weeks ago. This the police department is terrible. You stay in there dancing, jumping up and down. You can't get the police. Call, call the police and see what you get. Call your own police. All right. Don't let them know who you are. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Thank you. They need help. You, call, you can't get the police. I saw something that was terrible, dumping. And I tried to get the police over there to stop a guy from dumping. But he saw me, he knew who I was, he got the heck out of there, put whatever he had, let it stay on the truck. Okay. okay. I tried to get the police, I couldn't. Mm. You refer me to some other city. We need our own police to dispatch it out. If you get if you don't get, get hire a woman. Okay. If, if you don't get a man, get a woman. Somebody need to ask that phone can talk to the people. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. And send the police over there. I ain't finished yet. Thank you very much. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, city clerk. Um, no comments tonight. City treasurer? Uh, no comments. <laughs> Councilwoman Wiley. Oh, yeah. You think <laughs> no. I just want to thank all the churches that came out uh, last Monday to the conversation with the churches. It was a great success and we're going to keep that momentum going so we can uh, continue to build our city. The other thing is don't forget the parade. Get your paperwork in. Thank you. Councilman Oak. Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor. Uh, I was approached yesterday by a person in church concerning the situation at Spring Arbor and Lexington. Mm -hmm. It appears that we've got a lot of people moving into that area. 
uh, is just coming in doing what they want to do. This person spoke with the chief, and uh, they had patrol going in the area and so forth. But it started again. It looked like more people from outside the city is moving in and creating more problems for them in the neighborhood. The Dollar Tree on Michigan Avenue. I got a real problem with that one. It needs to be addressed both inside and out. The conditions of that building. Go in there, you got trash all over the floor. The, the, the parking lots need to be repaired. They're never clean. And people just go in. I don't, I don't, myself, I got to stop going. Mm -hmm. But I go to see what's going on, see what's happening, if they're doing anything. And I'm wondering if we have anything on the books to address businesses this tight, mm -hmm. to eliminate the problems we continue to talk about. Better in our community with the type of businesses that we have, it, it, something needs to be done. Yeah. And, and it needs to be done right away and soon because over the past two or three years, nothing has changed in that building, at that location. We need to do something about it. And I'm sure the people here who's here tonight, who's been in there, have experienced the same thing that I have and continue to do the same thing. That's a problem. So we'll reach out to the other item that I have right. dealing with the beautification committee, it's not a problem with them, but the things that they have done over the years and continue to do in terms of cleaning up in the area and so forth, the apartments on Middle Belt between um, It's, it's, it's the apartments we've had problems with before. Which one? What? It's the north side, south side. Parkwood Middle Belt. Park, Parkwood the Middle Belt. Okay. Going down, there's, there's about three or four complexes in there. I'm going back to what she just brought up. You pass through there, the last day or two, they are putting furniture out again. There's trash all over the place, and I, I just don't think it's right for people who care about the city. Come in and help clean up, because, you know, we did it last year. Mm -hmm. And then we have these people in this building, in these two buildings, that's just throwing trash out, they, they, the garbage cans or the, 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 uh, the dumpsters are overfilled and so forth. It's in my district. That ain't the only reason why I'm concerned about it, but I'm concerned about it because it makes the whole city look bad. Yeah. And, and, and nothing is happening. They continue to do the same thing over and over again. I have a problem. Anyway, that's all I have at this point. I, I'm, I'm just sort of, I'm just, I'm just sort of tired of that. Now, and and we, we're trying to get rid of it's spring, and it's, it's starting to happen. The other thing is they're starting to put out the basketball courts on the streets. Yeah. Okay, that's all you. I got. We, we, well, we need to deal with those issues. I think we need to deal with especially the Dollar Tree. Okay. We'll get on. Councilwoman Howard. Um, the issue that I'm having right now is the trucks driving down. Uh, I'd be, I'm big not trucks. sure, big truck. Yeah, yeah. This is all day long. Mm -hmm. um, in the middle of the night, 4 o'clock in the morning, you just drive down John Daly. You, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what you can do about it. They don't have to drive down John Daly, though. Right? But, but no, they driving down side streets. Side streets. But they can drive down John Daly because John Daly is a truck route. They're going down hmm. President, and they parking. I did. I do see an 18 wheeler parked on uh, street close to your street, yeah. close to Inkster Road. Yeah. They just parked the last house, so I think they just parked at the end of the street. Well, oh. we should be able to find them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, <laughs> Councilman Chisholm. Good evening. Oh, there's two. <laughs> there's two things. Um, tax season is almost coming to an end, so of course we got a couple more days before we end our sales of the fish dinners at St. Clements. So feel free to stop by, grab a dinner. And secondly, our annual play is coming up. This one is called A Dream Deferred. It's about human trafficking. Um, it is April 28, 2018, 6:30 p.m. at Robichaux Senior High School. There will be a panel following after the play and a talk back with officers. 
a senator and other persons who are all uh, someone from the human trafficking organization just kind of giving them more information about what's going on how cities that are closest to the freeways and stuff are more impacted and everything like that so tickets are 25 dollars. there's flyers in the uh window here and at the front of the clerk's office so i'm out court and find out more thank you thank you we pro tip <laughs> got you this week <laughs> okay two quick things uh citizens wondered wondered uh first of all we have this uh the alarm where's the one located in Inkster? because the west end one goes off but everybody don't hear the west end one um <laughs> yeah boy <Woo. laughs> yeah our alarm system um <clears throat> it will be loaded in the, located in the police department we're in the process of buying new equipment and putting it in the police department. It used to be in the fire department. Okay. And it hasn't been going off like routinely like the Westland one, I would say that too. Mm -hmm. I live close to Westland and I'm in my house my windows are closed and I don't hear it. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. all hey that's what I hear. Um also last meeting I made a comment about the no parking sign on Hopkins. Mm -hmm. I get us talk to this and they give me this talking dance about uh <laughs> gotta have a the piece to go and do an inspection. Now I've been here all my life, and I know that 99% of the streets in, in Inkster, you can't park on one side of the street. Most of them signs got knocked down and never got put back up. So I don't see why we need to study to put signs up that was already there. So um, since they're still calling about these about the signs, so what's the address or the, the block? Um, <clears throat> Hopkins, uh, it's a dead end. Uh, Last the thing with that middle middle lane and dead end. <clears throat> Okay, middle lane. Yeah, from dead end. Now, typically, the police go out and make sure the sign, there's no sign already out there, right? <laughs> On Hopkins. Hopkins. It's very dead end. <clears throat> okay. Okay, thanks. And then once they check it out, then we call DPS and then they'll make a sign. Okay. Um, and there's a pothole at the westbound Michigan Avenue in Harrison. <clears throat> I've been, I've been getting called by that. I, I did see Clip fix that some time ago. <laughs> I did see Clip fix that. You know, I did sit on C Click fixing, but it still hasn't been done yet, so I just want to bring it up that we can well, get that done. You gotta C Click fix that to the state. Mm -hmm. That's the state part. That's, That's the state. state. Thing, so. That's no, no, no. He's on Harrison, he's on Michigan. It's on Harrison. Oh, on Harrison. Oh, Harrison. Harrison is ours. Okay. <laughs> and, your, and your DP man been told about it almost for on two months, and it ain't been filled yet. Mm. Okay. And so before you shop at what side of Harrison? The north or the south? <laughs> south side, right at Michigan Avenue. Well, Michigan Avenue, you give it a turn. People, what people are doing is they're going all the way over to the other side and going around. It's going to create accidents. Okay, we're on top of Harrison yeah. on the south side. Right. And before you right patronize right your other communities, please shop Inkster. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, we're doing great. <laughs> it is five minutes to eight. Mm. I'm real, real, real feels good, man. <laughs> we had a busy week last week, got a lot of things accomplished. The city looked good. And Monday we had a conversation with the church. Tuesday was the Inkster Chamber event at the Rec Center, which was excellent. We also Thursday the Citizens Academy, our volunteers uh, went through the Academy eight week training and now have graduated. That was a great, great thing. And now they're able to provide us some insight as citizens with some special training with respect to the police department. Saturday, Easter egg hunt, marshmallow drop was incredible. Incredible. I don't know how I many, I'm bad at estimating, but what, two, three hundred kids and family? Oh, more than that, about five hundred. There was a lot, a lot of folks. They had a great time. They were busy all the way from 11 to 2. Um, so the organization was great. Officer Lee Bowl, uh, task Force, Inkster Unity and Community, everybody participated, the AKAs, right? everybody participated. It's just an example of what we can do when everybody works together. It was huge, huge. <laughs> it started raining at one. At what? <laughs> well, it started raining. The cold, freezing rain, we're out there waiting on the marshmallows. <laughs> Since it was the day before Easter, you saw all the, uh, the females, adults, running for the rec center because they had their hair done for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Kids didn't move. They waited for the marshmallows. So we stayed outside and marshmallows came. <laughs> it was cold though. It was definitely cold. Well, we had a great time. I hope everybody had a happy Easter. I enjoyed marshmallow with family. And we are going to go blue tonight. All right. <laughs>
Uh, you want to sing hail to the victors? Oh, oh yeah, we had uh, with Warren Evans. Yeah, yeah, we had uh, that was on Wednesday. I forgot about Wednesday. It was a busy week last week. Warren Evans came over to the Twin Towers. We announced our partnership of us providing a sidewalk uh, from the Twin, Twin Towers all the way to the other side of Colonial to Colonial Street on the west side of the street. Um, it's been something that needs to be done for years so that people who live there can walk up the street without have to get in the industry or walk in the mud. So we're happy to do that and uh, we appreciate Warren Evans and the county commissioners allow, uh, doing that with us and coming up with half the money essentially to do it with us. So that was a good deal. So there are some positive things happening. We're excited. We're going to do more. Um, and we will see you all in two weeks. All right. Motion for adjournment. Support. All those, oh, discussion. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay.